Hello everybody, these are my friends from the Gambia. Yeah. The very first time I went to the Gambia, I met this beautiful, beautiful lady. <laughs> she was so hospitable, she was so warm. She is still hospitable and warm. She is like the face of the Gambia. And this handsome guy, very chocolate, he's a very handsome guy. <laughs> he is Adama Njaya, Director of Marketing for the Gambian Tourism right so they are actually on a road show to market destination gambia and when she gave me a call actually they were in germany marketing the gambia and when she told me they were coming to nigeria there's no way in fact i will not meet seeing her so i said okay i'm going to see you guys when you uh, get to nigeria and they did call me to let me know that they're in nigeria eventually so i had to you know track them so that i can speak to them because I learned there's so many, so many, many things happening in the Gambia right now that they will really like to share with you. Hello, Ida. Hello, Adachi. Nice to see you again. Pleasure to see you too. Okay, Adama. It's a pleasure to, to, to be here with you. Okay. Uh, you came to Nigeria when? Uh, we came on Sunday, right? On Sunday. Yeah, we came on Sunday with the Abyss. Uh, we flew from Banjul to Dakar, then Dakar straight to uh, Lagos. And of course, the flight was good. You know, uh, the, the only thing we had was a delay, but sometimes um, airline operations would have delay, which is inevitable, but yeah, you know, it was a good service. T uh, tonight we live in, uh, well, early morning we'll be going to Ghana for another four days, then fly back to the Gambia. So we have a busy schedule, one week of promoting our, our country, the smiling coast of Africa. It's all about tourism for you guys. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, you leave tourism, you breathe tourism. Is that the only business you could do in the Gambia? It's not the only business, but I can tell you, tourism is the backbone of our economy. Because the, the direct and indirect employment of tourism yeah, is Gambia. unprecedented. Mm -hmm. And our contribution to the GDP is very high. Like how much does tourism contribute? It's actually between 20 20 to 25 percent. Really? For us, we are work. We are doing a study to quantify it because we believe that it's even more than 25 percent. You talk about foreign exchange earning. It is the biggest foreign exchange earning of the Gambia. Gambia, like I said, might be very small, but uh, we, are, we we have been in the tourism industry for quite some time since 1965. So and we are well respected in I terms mean, of the Gambia. Tourism. The Gambia itself, um, you know, historically, yes, uh, 1965 or even before that. So tourism has kick started up to now. And uh, you know, we are not big but you know, we have a lot of talents in terms of tourism. And that's why we we, we cannot rest because we believe that without tourism we are nowhere. <laughs> yeah, besides Gambia has some amazing, really, really very, very beautiful hotels developed along so. the coast. Is it on papers or what? It's not papers. It's on purpose. It's on purpose. Because you know you have to understand one of the unique selling population of the Gambia is the fantastic beach we have. You understand, and uh, you know you cannot you cannot miss out on that. Also, it's part of our USPs. So um, most of the hotels you step out or just walk a short distance, you arrive at the beach. You understand, and uh, you know it was done on purpose. Wow, it was done on purpose. Yeah. That's really nice. Mm. It's fantastic. They are so beautiful. Very very beautiful. Fantastic. You know, as if the Gambia was just beautiful hotels. I don't know. Um, <laughs> The good thing is, it's not only about the hotels that we're building. There are so many products that are available. I mean, you know, you have been there, you have seen it. You have seen it all. So the reason why I build more hotels, because we have seen over the years that when the season starts, all our hotels are full and we start having stop sales. Stop sales means there is a demand out there, but the supply is limited. And you can only solve the problem by building quality beds. That's why all the hotels we're building now is four or five star hotel. It's one thing to build a hotel, 
But it's another thing to build a hotel to lower high spenders. And that is the strategy direction we have in. It, because we, uh, if my members have, I think we are short by 10,000 beds. As a country, yes. That's why sometimes when we organize farm trips from Nigeria, we have a problem. There was a farm trip that we organized a couple of months back, but we, we couldn't because the space wasn't available. So we're saying we have to build hotels, but not only hotels. That we build, not only, you know, there are some boutique hotels, there are some self catering apartments. So we're actually mixing the two. There, by the way, there are even some apartments that a Nigerian can come and buy, and it's going to be yours. We have seen it in Gambia. So we actually cater for every taste. But the reason why the hotels have been built is because we have shortages of beds. And if you have a shortage of bed, out there the demand is waiting for you. But as a country, you don't have to supply and you have to close the gap. All right, how many beds are you, do you have? If my members have right in totality, one to five star hotel, we have roughly about 7,000 beds. So that's why we're short. That's why we're fastly building more hotels. Because okay. we have seen that we have a gap of more than 10,000 beds. Really? That's why we're having this top sales I'm talking about. The beds, the demand is high for Gambia, but the supply is not enough. Okay. And, and, and we have to, that's why we have so many boutique hotels, so many apartments, uh, self catering so many lodges here and there. Most of our arrivals is from Europe. Most of our arrivals, most of our tourists, but for us now, that is not... What you want. That's not. You the dynamics Africa have changed. Come, yeah. Because Africans, they fly all year round. If you come to Gambia during the lead season, most of the tour operators are actually enjoying their own um, nice weather. But a Nigerian can come to Gambia even when it's thundering. That's the difference. And that's why Dubai is here fighting the cake with us. And, and you know, mm -hmm. we're going to give it a go. <laughs> we, we have to give it a go. We have to I give it a like go. that. We have to give it a go. Okay.